Well, I'm Maxim Jakubowski. I'm a writer, I'm an editor, I'm an ex-publisher, I'm a book collector, and probably a few other things uh, on the side. Uh, I think my first uh, encounter with Donald Westlake was actually uh, he, when he was assuming another name and he used to write science fiction and he wrote a book called Anna Chaos, which I remember with a rather lurid science fiction cover in the very old style and very old, very old pop style. And I began actually as a science fiction fan in my teens, I think. Uh, I started writing when I was 14 or 15. Uh, at 16 I joined uh, science fiction fandom actually did a fanzine also and uh, obviously he was a major collector of uh, everything that was written in the genre and I came across what I think is probably one of his, his only, if not the only, uh, science fiction book he wrote uh, under uh, his uh, then uh, science fiction pen name. Uh, obviously I didn't know it was Westlake so the, and the book is probably still on my shelf somewhere even though I haven't read it probably since I was 17 or 18 uh, and it was only later that uh, in fact I got into, so to speak, uh, crime fiction and uh, obviously the moment I did that I came across the real Donald Westlake, I mean Donald Westlake who wrote the humorous uh, Dortmund books, of course, the other Westlake, uh, the Richard Stark uh, Parker books which of course are so, so much more hard-boiled uh, and also some of the big uh, and for me, very important uh, books, uh, which are the non-series books. In my own writing, whether, whether in, within the crime genre or elsewhere, uh, I also have a lot of uh, books or stories about writers. Uh, writers fascinate me, and the books are not autobiographical. I like using writers as the source. And uh, those were books um, I really was into quite heavily. I finally met Don many, many years later when I started attending Bouchercon's uh, conventions in America, which I did uh, for about 12 years in a row as I was the co-chairman of the Nottingham Bouchercon, which was a, only the second time Bouchercon came to the UK. And I can't remember at which particular Bouchercon I first met Don, and we got on immediately. Uh, I mean, we had a lot in common in terms of our tastes. Uh, and uh, obviously I'm also fairly active uh, on the film front as a reviewer, as a curator and organiser of film festivals uh, and of course that was another reason uh, that brought us together and then uh, everything seemed to conspire <laughs> to bring us together even more. Um, I came across his uh, long uh, novella Ordo uh, at a time when I was commissioned by a British publisher to do a new collection of Pulp Fiction and I wanted some modern examples of Pulp Fiction and for me Ordo was such a lovely story so I included it and uh, I think one year later we spent quite a bit of time together for the first time at a film festival in Italy where The Grifters was being shown for the first time uh, and the reason I was invited to the festival was not because I was familiar with the scriptwriter I. Donald Westling but purely because I happened to be at the time the British publisher of Jim Thompson and I was the publisher of The Grifters and I was invited to the festival and uh, we spent a few days basically uh, having all our meals uh, and drinks together even though I don't drink <laughs> but uh, I was the one at the bar having the Coca-Cola which I think uh, afforded Don a rather wry smile <laughs> and then we kept on meeting over a period of probably about 15 to 20 years almost yearly somewhere in the world uh, often in France often in Italy as we both attend a lot of uh, events there uh, and I've never published him after that I never had the opportunity but uh, which always saddened me uh, but uh, I always found it very difficult to convince my accountants in various publishing houses that one could start publishing more Donald Westlake or actually the Richard Stark books because obviously by then there were so many in the backlist and uh, one couldn't just take one book at random so that's been one of the sadnesses uh, of my relationship uh, of sorts with Don uh, over the years and on a few occasions I've done interviews on stage with him at uh, London's uh, National Film Theatre now as it's known the BFI South Bank we had some wonderful uh, impromptu conversations on stage and then answering questions from the audience uh, and I knew that uh, the wonderful thing with Don is apart from obviously his wonderful qualities 
as a writer and of course as a wonderful person was uh, if you had him on stage and you were doing something formal all you had to do was in a way press that invisible button and the anecdotes these wonderful anecdotes and lessons about life and about writing and about the writing life would come out so naturally and uh, always delightful and I think uh, he was always uh, a huge hit with our audiences. <laughs>